So, a conventional successful website for an artist of any genre must establish the artist's identity, be very interactive and immersive, and have plenty of purchasing opportunities. We'll be looking at Gabrielle Applin and Ingrid Michelson's website and how they compare to Ava Ruskin's website. Okay, so first, uh, in terms of interactivity, on all three sites there is a frequent mention or link to social media. Uh, Gabrielle Applin, for example, has her Twitter feed and you can also follow her at the top. Um, and Ingrid Michelson has her Instagram, her latest Instagram pictures come up. And we therefore decided with Ava that we'd have her Twitter feed on the side and also you could follow Ava at the top and her on Tumblr. Also, we noticed that a convention of websites was that there'd be a mailing list. So for Gabrielle Applin, that exists there. And uh, for Ingrid Michelson, it also exists there right at the bottom of the page and we decided to place it near the kind of middle of our page so that the people wouldn't, they wouldn't be the first thing that people see, but they'd still see it. Um, one thing that Gabrielle Applin has is a competition. Well, she did have a competition, it's actually over now, but um, it was for people to support her on her uh, English Rain tour. Um, and competition's really good with interactivity because the fans can get really involved and they makes them feel closer to the artists and stuff. So we have one on our news page um, where Ava needs people in her next music video. So, you know, fans would get involved and stuff and, yeah, they'd get involved in the world of Ava. It would be very interactive. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> also, because we're original and um, we, you know, wanted to do something that the other websites hadn't really done, we decided to add a countdown at the bottom of our page because we feel like it added a kind of extra dimension to the interactivity of the website and it just made it a bit more kind of personal. Yeah, it made it quite exciting as well, especially she's a debut artist and it's kind of yeah. her first tour. So. And in terms of audience feedback, a lot of people said that they really liked the countdown on the website. For some of the more kind of indie artists, they also have um, a blog on their websites. For example, um, I know that Lily Allen does, and A Fine Frenzy also does. Yeah. Um, and because Ava's kind of like in that league of artists, we decided to kind of link her blog to the website as well. Also her Tumblr, you can get to her Tumblr on her website and Tumblr's quite a popular site especially with um, Ava's target audience of 16 to 24 year old girls so we thought it would be good to kind of have this feature on the site because um, it would appeal to to the fans and they could follow her on Tumblr, it's just another way that they can get involved in Ava as a brand. Um, so moving on to purchasing opportunities um, all three sites have album out now on the home page or similar like single out now um, and it's repeated on a lot of the pages just on the side just to remind them to buy the album constantly throughout the site. Yeah and um, on both Gabrielle and Ava's website there are tour pages so for Gabrielle when you go to the English Rain tour page you can um, it takes you directly to a link where you can buy the tickets and um, for Ava, we decided to have that as well because, you know, they're both indie artists and most of their proceeds would come from the tour because they wouldn't have as much kind of hype built around them. Something that Ingrid Michelson had, which she thought was quite nice, was uh, like lyric books and song books. Um, we just thought, because she's a kind of a singer-songwriter, it was a nice touch. Um, so we decided to do the same for Ava. Um, and she has a lyric book and on her shop she has, like, chord books and things like that and it's another way for the fans to get involved as well because they can learn the songs and maybe do covers and send them to the artists. Another thing we noticed is that um, you know pretty much all the websites of anyone had shops so um, it was quite a big convention to you know not include so we decided to include that as well and um, we designed lots of Ava merchandise and you know had t-shirts posters and we also decided to add in a biscuit tin and, you know, kind of like quirky stuff like that because we think that Ava's quite um, a non-traditional character. Yeah, I mean, she's quite down-to-earth and, like, a natural artist, so it's nice that she has things that kind of people, quite a lot of people would want, like, biscuit tins are actually quite useful, you know, in Yeah, life. and mugs. And mugs, mugs are useful. Um, 
and a teddy bear. We just thought it was quite cute because she's quite a cutesy girl. And finally, um, the websites help to establish the artist's identity. Um, with Gabrielle Rappin, for example, the fonts are quite simple and the website background is actually the same as her album cover. And it's her just with an umbrella kind of in a wide space, just kind of like running around. And it shows how she's quite a natural artist, quite fun and lighthearted. Well, um, obviously Ingrid Michaelson's website was a huge inspiration for us because on her homepage, the um, the design is quite similar to ours. She's got the kind of banner with the wallpaper background and um, it's quite, you know, hipster and indie and quite artistic. So we decided to include that in ours because we feel that um, Ingrid and Ava are quite similar characters. And so we wanted to kind of create this kind of quirky brand for Ava. And... Um, yeah, lots of the images of um, on Ingrid's website are her kind of performing, and so it shows how she's very kind of invested in the music. So yeah, with Ava's, again, we have the old wallpaper thing, which we think shows her retro style. Yeah, so the a lot of the shots on the website are Ava pulling funny faces, showing how she's natural and down to earth. They're not like traditional beauty shots where she's all sexualized and kind of staring at the camera in a kind of seductive way. Um, and also the colour scheme is quite girly with the blue and pink, kind of the light colours, um, and it shows how she's quite feminine, um, especially with like the flower in her hair and stuff. And this is an image that we have on all three of our texts to provide synergy.